A busy day at the Rugby World Cup kicked off with Australia v Uruguay in Pool D. After a bloodshed battle against Wales in their last outing, Australia's assignment was a little easier at Alwita Stadium. The tournament's 24th match marked the halfway stage of the competition as the pool stages started to take shape. Alatar again, out the back, kept alive, White throws it through the legs and it's now toe to head, he's going to work up for Curly Bill, the bounce is awful for Bill, stays alive for Kurandrani, Kurandrani one away. Closing in here, Australia. Who's back right? Talakai Lotto. Good defence from Uruguay again to stop him. Fanger looks up. Tamua is deep here. Asking for it. Tamua sends it wide. Liliofano. Beal into the line. Beal across the park. Finds Dane Haler Petty. And DHP goys in for the TRY for Australia. Good hands, some good build-up work, a little bit fortunate, the Wallabies. There was a ricochet, came off the boot here. As the ball goes to ground, you'll see here just, boom, in it goes to Kirtley Beal. He was unlucky with the bounce, but the follow-up from Kurandrani. And soon enough, the Australian backs kicked into gear, wider out to the other side. Beal, last man drawn and passed, and Dana Hallett petty strolls in in the corner. Sir. The thump with the engagement. Uruguay under pressure, now clearing on Machia. They bring in that runner, he's getting close, he's Freitas, one away. Lost, however, however, another penalty for Uruguay to work with. That was fantastic, and he just had a, kept on his feet, just a little high tackle there too. Well, that's what the penalty was for, I think, uh, Mel, okay. the high shot against the Aussie skipper. And it's good for Uruguay, 7-3 the score. Alatoa, he's keen for another run and he'll get a chance as well. Punches it one metre over the advantage line. Beal, Patea, Patea, Patea! On debut, Jordi Patea, welcome to the World Cup show! My word, he hit that ball at a million miles an hour. The timing of Kirtley Beal, simply amazing. And the step, and as I say, the speed, too much to right stop a man at that yeah, velocity. Okay, to, to, to to give me... Uruguay, the counter up. White, Tumua, Liliofano holding it up here for Kurandrani. Beal into the line. Beal looking for the switch for Patea. Jumps away from one. Jordan Patea puts away to Vida Kurandrani. The K train. Cruises away for Australia's third, but it was the work of the kid, Patea, that set it alight. Yeah, it's a great moment for Tavita Kurandrani. Once the first choice in that 13 jersey, it's a great steal. Probably a forward pass there. And there's probably no way Australia should have retained that ball with Slipper going in the side. But doesn't matter. Patea, when he gets the ball, he's a menace. He's going to create. He breaks three tackles and puts away Kurandrani. Who runs the 20 metres to dot it down? It's a nice moment for him. White off the back. Lily Fana, Kurandrani burst through. Already has one. Mark up. TK for two. Great timing off the line out. Just too easy. And it also relies on the entire back line being a threat to drag the defenders out just to keep those. Four defenders occupied. Kurandrani coming right from outside in. You saw Matt Tamua drifting out from the 12 position. They may not have been watching Kurandrani. Well, they clearly weren't because this was the result. Dempsey kicks out of one. Dempsey spins past another. Dempsey gets it off the hip. Finds Will Genia. It's easy as for Will Genia. Yeah, brute strength from Jack Dempsey. His Dempsey beats one, two with the fend, three <laughs> just for good measure, and on the inside. Trapped at the base of the scrum here. Dempsey goes himself. He's close, Dempsey. Genia, Slipper, Slipper, James Slipper! It's 
It's taken 94 games, but James Slipper finally, finally has a try for Australia. They've possibly set that move up specifically to give him a try, but ah, this is terrific for James Slipper. He's been a man who has emptied the tank so many times for the green and gold, and he's right place, right time for test try number one. Pocock okay. bounces into a couple. Nice work on his tail as well. Genia holding it up. Tamua, Billy Afano waits it nicely, and now pulled in by Coleman. Coleman got it away for Kepu. Backwards is the call. Now Tupo. Looks up and says, how did I end up with this? Genia in behind for Dane Halepetti. Dane Halepetti gets the bounce and gets his second. Look at the hands here from Petty. Quite low down. He was on full charge and just the legs possibly going now. Closer and closer. Now wide. Bertesi. Bertesi. One from home. Now shuffled on and sent back again. They're bunched. They've got to keep it close here, Uruguay. Australia holding firm for the moment. Desperate stuff from Los Terros. Bodies everywhere. The crowd willing them on here. That's the try! And that was Los Terros! They're over. Full time in Oita, and it is Australia as winners, 45 to 10. A comfortable victory for Australia got them back on track. They're now in prime position to qualify for the quarters.